good day everyone welcome back to the channel and today we are looking at unreal engine and setting up your unreal engine project for virtual reality this project um the stuff that we'll be setting up will work on all vr headsets from the oculus all the way to uh steam's uh, valve valve index and all of those things so <clears throat> sorry i've got a bit of problem with my throat for the last few weeks so first thing that you're going to do is you're going to open your um, project browser and you're going to say game you're going to go to virtual reality go next and all the settings is fine as it is if you want extra content you can add it in um, but for this purpose I'm not going to add in any extra content then just set the location of where you want it to be saved and named your project <clears throat> and then just say create Okay, so when you open your very first project, <coughs> sorry about that, when you open your very first, first project, um, you'll see you'll be opening this scene. It's like a beginner scene that tells you um, about both of the platforms that is supported. If you play in this current state, there's nothing really happening here. Uh, it's just a location where you can actually um, choose which project you want. You'll see you, um, when you start the project, all of the assets will be in one location. Uh, you won't see any folders and you can look at it like that if you want to, but I would like to see my folders, so I'm just going to go back to and it will take me back to all the folders. Another way you can do it is you can go to uh, the show or hide source plan and then just tap on content. So in all the folders there's about three folders. This is just basic mesh um, geometry it being pretty much every project that you create. The second folder is all of your um, materials and objects that is given to you by the project, like your teleportation, your um, headset, but you will see there's no hands here. If you go one back and you go to um, mannequin and you go to character, mesh and then you'll see the hands there and also the textures and the materials for the hands and all the hands do come with um, animations at the beginning with the last folder the virtual virtual reality blueprint you'll find all the maps that um, is given to you. As you can see we are in the starter map, this is this one, then there's uh, two more maps. So if you're using virtual reality uh, in the context of having your virtual controllers like the Oculus Quest or uh, Rift, Rift Test, all of those guys, you want to go with the motion controllers. Uh, the motion controllers are basically just telling you um, that there's motion controllers of physical hands that you'll be able to move. The third, uh, the first one uh, with gamepad, it's it's more of like if you're gonna make a game for uh, PSVR where you can actually use controller to control. Um, your character 
in that sense. So it does have motion controllers in, but not in the sense of virtual hands. It's just one basic controller, like the PS VR with one controller. We are actually gonna be making game for um, Oculus, the Quest 2. So we're gonna go with motion controllers. If you're not gonna be actually using uh, these maps, you can just remove them. And remember to go to your settings, project settings, and maps to just uh, set a new edit startup mode map. And then just save everything. So, this is a basic environment at the beginning that uh, you'll be getting every time you make a new project. You got your basic character controller. This would be your camera and your both your hands. And then you have your interactables. And then the whole world's got a uh, glider on it that would allow you to um, teleport around. To actually access the player's um, blueprints, you can go on back to the virtual reality blueprints and you go to blueprints. And this is the main character controller scripts. As you can see at the moment, you only have a virtual camera in here. Uh, but if you go to the scripts and you'll see the after event begin play, the second one that's attached to the sequencer is going to be spawning in the controllers. To actually see where the controller blueprint is, and you just go to the beginning, you'll see BPO, uh, BP motion controller. And as you'll see, if we open it up, we have a problem when with uh, one of the scripts in the project. If you say compile, you'll see you get a bit of an error here. If you press on the error, it will take you where the problem is. And the basic way to fix this is if you go to your hand mesh, go all the way down to where all the events is, and you just go and press on on com Ah, on component hit and you just press play it will spawn the right one um, right next to it and you can just delete that one put in the normal and hook it up there and complete and everything Will still work. So when it comes to actually the play mode, you'll see there's one play mode at the moment and it will just basically play the game. You'll be able to do basically nothing and if I actually take my controller off my headset and move it around, you'll see nothing happens. And why that is, is because the play mode that we started is actually a PC play mode, but we want virtual reality play mode. To get that uh, up and running, you should remember to have your platform of choice um, connection up. So I'm using the Oculus Quest 2, so I have my uh, the Oculus Store open and I also have a link up. Um, and you can see everything's still working 100%. And if you're using Steam VR, just remember to have Steam VR open. Then you can go down, uh, press on the change play mode, the drop down, and you'll see there's actually one that says VR. So as you can see, <clears throat> while we're in virtual reality, the first things that you can see is your virtual hands 
that is the location of the controllers and you have basic animation of just grabbing as I stated previously in the tutorial, you have teleportation and the pointer will be looking at the exact location of where your headset is pointing at. So let's go a bit closer. Way to change the location of, of the rotation of your player is by pressing down the joystick and then changing the location by moving it in the direction you want it. I don't really like this um, type of system, but we will change it in the future. Well, the script that you have access to is a basic grab system where you can interact with some of the objects in the world. In the future, we'll go more in depth in how to make our own system and even a better system than the starter pack because at the moment it's really just basic where it, where you can just pick it up and it will stay in location there's no snapping to the middle point like with weapons or anything like that and we'll be covering that also in the future okay so that is your basic template that you'll get um, when you create a new project with Unreal Engine. And that is all that you need to know to set it up. It's basically just create room to have your um, software of choice open, SteamVR or the Oculus Store, and then just change the settings from um, selected preview to VR preview and that's everything guys in the next video I will create a custom player uh, controller with custom hands and also um, I'll be taking the custom hands and actually putting on physics so the hands doesn't actually go through the objects and also it will have actual interaction with other objects in the world so it will have physics if you thought this um, video was um, educational please remember to like and subscribe for more content on unreal engine development i'll see you all in the next video